And he said, this is my body. They had bread in their hand. We got bread in our hand. But he gave it to them. And then there's a pause. And as they ate it, he said, as, it, as they ingested it, as it got into them, then he said, this is my body. It's broken for you. They, they understood this probably more than us because they walked with him. They were with him every day. They saw how strong he was. They saw how healthy he was. They saw he never did wake up with a headache. He never did call in sick. He never did say, I gotta feel the flu coming on day. I'm gonna set this one out. They understood what it meant when he said, This is my body. They understood that that he's given him them his strength and his health and his so I, I don't know how that happens, but he gave them bread, and as they ate it, he called it his body. I want you to see that. So as you're eating this, whatever this thing is, bread, some kind, I want you to see wafer, yeah. As you ingest it, it becomes his body. As you ingest this, it's becoming the body of Jesus Christ Himself and it's driving out every impurity out of your body. It's driving out every bit of weakness, every bit of sickness. Why? Because we're discerning it. And because of this, you're going to live out your days. Do you hear me? Yes. yes. Take and eat. This is blood of the new covenant. This ain't no barnyard lamb's blood that went on the door. This is the blood of Jesus himself. The blood of a lamb gave us an old covenant that was based on man's performance. The blood of the new covenant came from Jesus himself and gave us a new covenant that's not based on man's performance. It's not based on yours and mine's performance. It's based on Jesus' performance. We have everything we have not because of your obedience, but because of His obedience. That's right. Amen. Qualified for all of heaven because of Him, not because of you. He did everything so good and so complete and so finished. Who do you think you are that you think you can undo what He did? It's the blood of the new covenant. And it makes you clean. And if you're clean, then every bit of effects that are a part of our life from being unclean have to be gone. <coughs> I do this every so often just because I want you to know it so you can take it home with you. You got something battle you're going through or fighting the enemy on some way, I do it every day. And do it just like we're doing. There's no right way, wrong way. Hey, I've seen people get healed from Mountain Dew. Yeah. <laughs> oh, some vanilla wafer or something like that. I don't want to even you know. Oreo cookie. Oreo cookie. That's right, it was. Hey, he said, I don't have the stuff for communion, but, but I believe in it. He had Mountain Dew and Oreo cookie down here. Amen. Yes. I tell you, it's not about what you're doing. It's about faith. Take it. You take medicine three times a day, take this three times a day. Sometimes you talk to him, do whatever, read that place, or sometimes don't say nothing. It's a relationship. It's not a formula. Just take it. Just take it. You're celebrating. Every time you partake, you're proclaiming the Lord's death. You know how much power there is in that? The enemy doesn't want you to know this. He's out. You hear me? He's out. I don't know if you come in here with an ailment, check it out. See if you heal them. People. I, I already know uh, before I ever got here, I know somebody getting healed tonight. I've seen people healed every single day. I like it. I ain't going to break it today. 
Now you got a weapon, so go use it, all right? Love y'all. Love you. Love you. 